Warning. Censorship. Warning. Censorship. They don't have the right to tell us that we can't do that. And I'm not scared of this virus. I have a healthy immune system. The government does not get to tell me that what I have to wear on my face, where I can go, who I can be with. These are rights. These are rights. When did rights become privileges? But uh, Albertans have been respectful uh, for the last year, year and a half of this whole lockdown. And uh, now they're starting to learn that there's too much inconsistencies. There's illiterate, there's just too much bullshit yeah. going on here. Could you tell me why you're breaking up a protest in front of a courthouse? People are lawfully gathering and you're putting up barricades to stop them from rallying where they want to rally. Now this is a massive protest given the circumstances. I don't know if you noticed, but the audio quality uh, and video quality might've been reduced a little bit because all of my equipment died the second that we got out, the, out of the car because of how cold it is. Uh, these people are troopers. They're staying out here until there's a verdict, until they know whether Chris Scott is going to be arrested or not. As we're standing here, we're not sure exactly what's going to happen. So the audio you're about to hear is from a few hours ahead of time. Here's what ended up happening. Kean Bexy for Rebel News here in Red Deer, Alberta, outside of the local courthouse where a business owner, a restaurateur, who you might know, the owner of the Whistle Stop, Chris Scott, is being taken to court by AHS. AHS really wants this guy to close his doors for dine-in services, and he keeps saying no. You know, Jason Kenney announced that they're reopening dine-in services in the province, but AHS still really wants to stick it to this guy who isn't following the rules that they decided he should follow, however unreasonable they are. Sure, he may have had to close his doors forever if he went out of business, but AHS didn't care about that. They just wanted him to close down his restaurant when they said he had to. So he's being brought to court. And many people, probably a hundred is my guess, have gathered here in Red Deer. Over 50 have gathered at his restaurant. We're going to go into the crowd and speak to some people. I understand that there's uh, some, some Alberta folk heroes in the crowd that we're going to speak to to see what they can say about the experience that Chris Scott is currently going through. Could you tell us what, what brings you to the protest here and what do you see the similarities between the government telling restaurants they can't be open to them telling farmers back then that they couldn't sell their grain? Keenan, it's a property rights issue. It's, it's the same as our, as our grain. In that regard, uh, there are those that would say that this relates to health, and that is true. But uh, Albertans have been respectful uh, for the last year, year and a half of this whole lockdown. And uh, now they're starting to learn that there's too much inconsistencies. There's, illiterate, there's just too much bullshit. Yeah. going on here. I'm just absolutely done. I'm done with people's rights being trampled. People that just want to go to work, support their family, um, being stopped, being told that they're not essential, being told that they have to stay home for a flu, which, you know, we're adults, we should be able to make a judgment call for ourselves, the risk-benefit analysis of whether or not we feel like we want to go out or if we want to stay home. That's not the, jo the government's job. Um, taking care of your family is an essential right. We're here in support of small businesses and we're so proud of the brave few that have decided to open. They know they're safe and they care about their livelihoods and their families and all of these people agree. And that's why we're here in solidarity supporting small businesses getting back to work. Okay, I don't want to hand it all back on Jason Kenney to be honest with you. Uh, this is an Albertan issue. Uh, I relate to uh, the former uh, Premier uh, Ralph Klein when he used to say Henry and Martha. Henry and Martha are right over here. Henry and Martha are out of jobs. And it, it isn't singularly about Jason Kenney, but some of the bureaucrats that are flanking him are highly overpaid. They need to have their wages cut back. On. They don't have the right to tell us that we can't do that. And I'm not scared of this virus. I have a healthy immune system. The government does not get to tell me that what I have to wear on my face, where I can go, who I can be with. These are rights. These are rights. When did rights become privileges? Right? By sheer virtue of the fact that we were able to get this many people in less than 24 hours, it shows people are waking up to what's happening and we've had enough and it's time for the government to start listening to what we're saying and realize that they work for us, we don't work for you. Even though it's in the midst of a pandemic, even though everything else is going on, 
but we need cooperation on the other side. Yeah, and right? we, we, we're trying, but you know, it is public. It is public property. It is, but right? people, people are being turned away from coming to the courthouse because they don't want to walk through a big group of people. Could you tell me why you're breaking up a protest in front of a courthouse? People are lawfully gathering and you're putting up barricades to stop them from rallying where they want to rally. People can walk through. I got here. I'm not part of the rally and I walked right through. It's fine. Why do they have why do they have less of a right to be here than you? That's how you hurt sheep, right like that. So right now we're in front of the courthouse and the police keep trying to push the protest back. This is like we're in Hong Kong. I remember in Hong Kong when the riot police, those thugs, those communist thugs, tried to push the students near the Hong Kong University away while they were trying to protect their own people. They're pushing this protest away just like they did in Hong Kong, just like they're doing in Moscow, and actually just like they're doing in Toronto right now when they're mass arresting people who are gathering peacefully to practice their God-given charter rights. They have a right to assemble here, here of all places. This is a public sidewalk in front of a public courthouse. These are public officers who respond to these people, not to any, not, not to any premier, not to any government. They respond to the people. They're here to serve the people, but instead they're fighting with them over where a barricade should be because they're standing too close to a courthouse. Could you believe it? This is where we are in 2021. We thought 2020 was bad, but buckle up. Now, we just spoke with Rick Strankman. He is someone who you, you might not know. You, you may know if, if you've been in Alberta politics for a long time. He was actually arrested because he tried to sell grain to the Americans. He took a truckload of wheat to the border to try and sell it. That was back when the government was telling people that they couldn't sell their own wheat. In Western Canada, if you, if you produced wheat, you had to sell it to the government. It was outrageously unfair. And he's drawing similar parallels between that situation and this. When the government's saying, you can't sell food to anyone. If you have a restaurant, they can't come into your restaurant and sit down. That's illegal then, that's illegal now. And, and selling grain to anyone other than the government back then was, was illegal too. We're gonna go back into this crowd and see why they're fighting with with with, with the officers right now or why, rather why the officers are fighting with them why the officers don't want them to be in front of the courthouse we're gonna go see what's happening do you think they would do this if you were black lives matter or antifa no they wouldn't public place there's no reason for them to put these buildings here these, this is bullshit. could you tell me how it makes you feel that the government is putting up a bar barricade so you can't be near the courthouse it's absolutely goes against all of our rights. This is a public building. We pay for this as the taxpayers. And now people are starting to come unhinged uh, as, as people lose their jobs, they lose their livelihoods. Uh, and, and when they have nothing to lose, uh, effectively they're figuratively dangerous uh, because they, 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 they've got no other way to go forward. And, and you see some of the, uh, the emotions coming forward here. It's frustrating. <laughs> to see me stand by and watch these emotions bubble over. How does it make you feel that the police came the with barricades to break up a rally, to interfere with your right to protest? I just feel we have a right to be here. This is a public building paid for by the people, by the taxpayers, and uh, it, it just pisses me off. It, it's, it, it's not, it shouldn't be allowable. This is communist state that we live in, and they are the henchmen of the communist state. And that is the report from the courthouse here in Red Deer. I'm Kean Bexty for Rebel News. Thanks so much for tuning into our coverage here at Rebel News. Be sure to like and subscribe. And if you want to check out all the work we're doing to help Chris Scott, we are uh, providing lawyers for him. We've retained them and, and they're fighting on his behalf so that he can keep his restaurant open. If you want to help us out there, you can go to fightthefines.ca to check out all the work we're doing and pitch in if you can.